All right, so we're uninstalling these stupid cameras and this Qualcomm again. I'll tell you what, they did a better job on this truck uh, than they did on the Coronado, I mean on the uh, Cascadia, because they had shit routed underneath everything. I mean, I had to take this whole dash apart to get to everything. So this I had to take apart to get to the flipping uh, Qualcomm because they had it all routed up down here and around and in through there. And and then everything is daisy chained. I don't know how good that is. I don't remember this being connected to uh, on the Cascadia, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, that smart drive system is just, I tell you the people that installed this, I mean, they're pieces of, they're, they're a piece of work. Never let any of these a-holes touch your stuff. I mean, it's just, I don't know. So. This video is not going to be about uninstalling. It's just going to be about the pain in the ass that they do to, to, to get shit installed and then uninstalling it. But I got to fix that. Um, and then I got to get rid of that. So I still have uh, the Coronado, or I mean the Cascadia undone because I didn't know if I was going to do this truck um, or the other truck, or the Cascadia. So, I still have the dash completely torn apart on that because I didn't know if I was going to be driving that truck. Uh, and then I was going to have to uninstall, um, you know, the dash again to install my Qualcomm, or not my Qualcomm, my ELD. Um, so, I think I'm going with a hardwired ELD instead of those Bluetooth things. That way, the one I'm looking at, um, it's freaking cold out here. It's like 35 degrees, I think. So the one I'm looking at is hardwired, but I kind of figured because I would have had to, I believe the law is you have to have a dedicated um, tab or phone or whatever you're going to use that's dedicated to your ELD. So instead of me, uh, I have a tablet and I have another phone, um, but it's like, why not just get one that's, it's the same price uh, to get one. Cause I was just gonna get like a, the, the iPad that I have is the, the big one. And then I was like, well, I don't really wanna mount that. So I was looking at getting an iPad mini, which was gonna cost $20 for, the data and then uh and then the 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 fee for you know to use the eld or whatever like there's like drive eld i don't know there's all these drive there's all these eld companies right but they're all between 30 or 20 and uh 15 to let's see i think the lowest i seen was 15 dollars, and then the highest i seen was like uh 50 dollars a month so on top of uh, the, 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 the service plan, so there's another 20. So now you're looking between 35 and 70, right? So I was like, you know what? This one here, there's like a one-time setup uh, for the equipment. I think it was like 500 bucks. Uh, but then after that, it's $40 a month. Um, unlimited data. I think it has a hotspot on it. So if you really need to connect to it, um, the $40 includes um, the internet, the hotspot, uh, all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? That's probably a better thing. And, and there's all these ELDs too. Some of them you, uh, do the IFTA in the back office. Some of them don't. And then you got to pay extra for it. And this does everything. Like this ELD for 40 bucks, it does everything. You know, it, it, 
the back office is awesome on it. So uh, I'm going to go with them. And like I said, it's, it's like $540 and, and, um, and then, or 520 I don't know, something like that, um, to get it shipped out to you and get it, in, uh, not installed, but just get it shipped out to you. But it's hardwired, so it goes into your uh, 9 pin or 16 pin or 6 pin or whatever pin you got uh, port. So I think I I'm going to go with that. Uh, I got to order it up. I still haven't still haven't ordered it up, but and then after that, I don't know. I I'm looking at doing like a fuel card with with some people. Um, I don't know what else I need. I'm just, I'm just flying, flying by the night on this. But, uh, so anyhow, I, like I said, I'm just going to do power only for now. Um, just until I can figure out how to get a trailer in the backyard here. But, uh, cause that's, uh, but I can park it at this truck stop that's up the street. Um, they don't care as long as you buy fuel there and, uh, the fuel card that I'm getting, it looks like I might be able to do that, but, oh, by the way, if, and while you have your dash apart, um, like start it up and listen for any air leaks in the back here. Cause you'd be able to hear it better now that everything's torn apart. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start her up unless for any air leaks back here and back over here. Uh, if you remember in my other video, the Cascadia had an air leak behind the dashboard. So we were able to get that fixed. But uh, we're going to throw this back together, kind of. We're going to leave it loose. Uh, I'll probably throw the Cascadia back together just because I know I'm going to be using it. I guess take out the camera, my personal camera. You can see it up there and then the CB, and while I have this all apart, um, I'm gonna put the CB in here. So, haven't decided if I'm gonna mount it up here, like I had on the Cascadia, I kinda dug where it was, uh, or if I'm gonna stick it in the little box there, or I could just use that little box for other stuff, right? So, anyways. We'll show you what the Cascadia looks like, and then uh, I'll put her together and show you. So, be back. All right, well, we got the uh, Cascadia put back together. Uh, we got her all cleaned out. So, yep, she's ready to go. Um, I still gotta remove the TV, but uh, I gotta take the fan out. But it's going to go over there to the Coronada. Um, so, yeah, we got the dash all put back together. Um, obviously, I'm going to leave that there. And then that hole there is a bitch. But this is going to come off here. Try to, anyways. Because that goes to my phone holder. But, uh... Yeah, still don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I don't know if anybody's interested. I owe uh, 43000 on her at the time of this video. So it's got 501,000 miles on it. Um, it's been meticulously taken care of. But uh, yeah, so... And we got our ELD installed, so we'll go over here to the Coronado right now. All right, so we got this all back together. There's the new ELD. I went with Truck X. Um, you can see the back here. Uh, we're going to keep the up there. Um, this, my buddy may want to come with me. We don't know what's going on with that, but he's going to be my dispatcher slash, um, I don't know what he's going to be, but eventually he's going to get his brokerage license and we're going to kind of work off of each other. So 
he needs to learn the industry as far as the brokerage side goes. Uh, he has tons of experience in the trucking business. He doesn't drive a truck, but he has gotten customers uh, for when we and him used to work together uh, when I was in the operations manager. But uh, anyways, so yeah, we got that going. Um, like I said, that is for sale. If anybody is interested, um, nothing wrong with it. She's perfect, uh, except for the APU. Uh, the APU, I think, needs a valve job or something. I don't know. Ever since I brought it up here in this elevation, uh, whenever she starts up, uh, the it just smokes like crazy. So, I'm guessing it's a valve job. Not sure. But, uh, anyways... So there you go. Uh, I'll let everybody know eventually how I feel about this. Again, I went with a wired um, because I didn't want to deal with the uh, uh, the Bluetooth devices, right? So we'll see how she goes. Anyways, talk to you later. I got to put my plates on. Uh, oh, so... Today, out of all days, today is Tuesday or Wednesday or something, the 20th. It's inauguration day of our country going to shit. But uh, today is also the day that my authority became 100% active. So we got the plates. Uh, we got our insurance. Our insurance, I think, total was $8,700 for the year. Something like that. $8,000. Four eight thousand four hundred, eight thousand seven hundred, something like that, uh, and that's for power only. Um, that's fifty thousand dollars. Anything that you, that you need to pull the Amazon stuff or any kind of power only stuff, right? So, not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, happy about that. Uh, paid that in full, so I got the paid in full discount. Um, so we got plates. Registration, cab card, insurance, and uh, we're just waiting on our IFTA stickers. Uh, so when I went down there to get the plates and everything, I went over to uh, IFTA and filled everything out. What I thought was supposed to be filled out, the lady didn't ask me for my proof of EIN letter from the you know IRS and a $4 check for the IFTA stickers. So I had to actually mail those into Salt Lake. And uh, so I'm just waiting on that. But after the IFTA stickers come, uh, we'll be 100% ready to roll. But uh, we got our windshields being replaced today. See, I got some little nicks there, but this is the one that really concerns me. Uh, it's got a line that runs all the way up. So we're just going to go ahead and get both of them replaced. I think it's going to be like 360 bucks. So not too shabby of a deal. Uh, or no, let's see. Was it 400? I don't know. It was like 100. No, 310, I think. It was 160 bucks. So 320. 320. Probably around 350 out the door. So there we go. There's the hood that... I actually bought myself. So anyways, we will uh, keep everybody updated later. I'll let you know what's going on with that. Again, if anybody's interested in the Cascadia, um, I'll leave my email below. And uh, you can either email me or whatever, but 42... It's close to 43000 that I owe on it as of today. I'm still making payments on it. Um... So we would have to deal with that, but cash only, check, whatever, wire, whatever. I'm not doing any kind of, hey, uh, will you, will you finance me? Or what if I just transfer over payments? Cause I don't think Daimler will do that. I don't know. Um, again, if you're interested or if you want to figure all that crap out yourself, um, you can email me. Uh, email will be in the description and will be in the comments section below. So anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh man, look at that hair. Good gosh.
right, sitting down here in the hole. There's the computer. Uh, the office. So, got the truck. I guess, uh, let's see. I got the stickers off both trucks. Um, so the red truck, Cascadia, is completely naked. Um, and then the uh, Coronado got it. Pretty much all the stickers off of it. Um, my logo is staying the same. It's just the company name has changed a little bit uh, compared to what it was. And had to do that for tax reasons slash uh, business reasons, I guess. You know, I to move the business from Nevada to Utah, you got to get a foreign entity and you got to get like a foreign, I don't know. It's, it's some complicated thing. And I talked to a couple of tax people. Uh, I actually talked to the IRS and they said if, you know, if you don't have like a multi-million dollar corporation with hundreds of people employed or even, uh, you know, 10, 50 people employed, um, if it's just you, it's probably easier just to dissolve the business in Nevada and then um, create a new business in Utah. So that's what I did. So had to get a new EIN number, had to get a uh, change, tweak the business name just a hair. So, but got the windshield in on the Coronado. Again, the only thing I'm waiting for is the IFTA stickers. Um, oh, one thing, it was funny. The insurance guy. Um, so I tried to sign up for Amazon and then also I'm going to try to hit up Convoy, but I'm kind of thinking it's not going to work because I guess Progressive put my insurance at um, 750000 the minimum, right? And, you know, Amazon and pretty much anybody and everybody requires a million dollar uh, liability and whatever it is, um, which I have, um, but for whatever reason, Progressive put on my MC90 that I was only covered for 750000 so uh, all these click and goes and all these, um, you know, like Amazon, Convoy, JB Hunt 360, which I can't even be a part of, but I know they probably all do the same thing. Um, they look at your MC number slash DOT number, and they kind of look at that, um, like the safer web type of a deal and your insurance and all that. They don't, I mean, eventually I'm, I'm guessing they're going to ask for documentation that shows that I have insurance and they're going to want it on copy. You know, they're, they're, they are going to want a copy on file. But in the initial scan of your authority, you know, they look at what's there. So on mine, it said 750,000 when in reality I had a million. Um, but as soon as they do their check, it's bam, it's thrown right out. So we got that fixed. Um, insurance guy called up Progressive and said, hey man, you know, this needs to say a million dollars just because the way things are now, you know, nobody wants to see proof. Uh, it's what's on line that matters. And it's the, I guess, which the, uh, AI that matters. So anyways, I am out. It's been a long day. Uh, but I have actually progressed uh, more than I have in the last couple of weeks just because I've been working on uh, the rental property across the way there trying to get it up and going and we uh, had a few snags that's a whole thing um, I haven't put it I didn't, haven't been making any videos because it's funny usually when truck channel uh, start making videos about other stuff nobody even gives a shit which 
kind of figured, you know, it's the life of the person making the video, right? But people don't give a shit. They just want to see trucks. So it is what it is. Um, I mean, I'm not going to make videos about it. I guess I could, but um, I don't know. When I make videos on stuff that wasn't truck related, I get no views on it. So, but it's not really about the views, but you know, it's about consistencies with YouTube. So anyways, guys, I will uh, let you know when uh, when I get up and actually uh, take my first load. So I don't know who it's going to be with. Um, it could be my buddy. My buddy. I may contact him and be like, hey, man, do you need me down there in California? I'll do, you know, a run or whatever. But anyways, talk to you later. Let you know. Thanks for watching. Bye.